Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, Saikon. My name is Colonel Arthur Suzik, and I'm the director of the NATO Cooperative Cyber Defense Center of Excellence. It is my honor to welcome you here in Tallinn for the seventh annual conference on cyber, or Saikon. This year, we will focus on the architectures of cyberspace. The tracks for the internet were laid 40 years ago. No one could have dreamed then of what the net would become by now. Half of the planet's population uses it. 50 billion devices are expected to be connected by 2020. That would make at least 3,500 just for all people in this auditorium. Yet only in 1990 did you term Berners-Lee coined the phrase World Wide Web. Mosaic. The first browser was released in 1993. Facebook became available to the public in 2004. And Uber, the ride-sharing service, started their Estonian activities just two weeks ago here in Tallinn. It has been a wild ride, unforeseen, unexpected, enjoyable. Yet it is imperative to consider future development. It is essential that we re-examine these 40 years old foundations and wonder if they are about to collapse under the pressure of growth. Are we at the verge of revolution? How will the internet grow? What is the infrastructure that we need to support the unprecedented amount of data? These are among the many questions to be answered in the next few days right here at SICOM. The topic this year allows us to take a look at the construction of the internet and its potential future development from a number of angles, be it technology, legal, policy, or strategy. By talking about the architectures in cyberspace, we'll have to discuss both technologies very close to our homes, but also vision for the future. Through the conference day, our speakers will talk about what cyberspace is, what it will be in the coming years, and how that related to cybersecurity. The discussion could not be more timely and topical. Many have decreed the lack of cyber legislation. So we will take a sneak peek at the Tallinn Manual to Zero on the applicability of international law to the cyber incident below the threshold of armed attack. Active and responsive cyber defense are hot topics all over the alliance and the world. We'll continue this discussion from last year's conference cycle 2014. For example, focusing on implementational aspects, topics such as situational awareness in cyberspace. The final technical session on Friday will imagine the future of cyberspace 10 years from now. To SICON, session topics will range from internet governance to fighting cybercrime to artificial intelligence to network-centric warfare. Surveillance will be discussed next to the security of smartphones, something all of us probably worry too little about. On the last day of the conference, a panel will put cyber war into the perspective of the crisis in Ukraine. 30 years ago, the cult movie Back to the Future ended with a quote that is very appropriate today. Roads? Where we are going, we don't need roads, said Doc before his time machine fashioned out of a classic DeLorean, took flight. Perhaps it is true that roads as we know them will soon become obsolete in the physical world, but also in cyber. Perhaps they will take on a new yet unknown shape. However, the need for information infrastructure will not disappear. We are going into the unknown, but we need to be prepared. It is easy to ask questions. As with the key unlocking Saikon logo in the introductory video, I am confident that speeches, discussions, and panels will provide answers. I encourage every single one of you to offer solutions and think big about the future of the internet. Please join today, Vice Admiral, uh, sorry, please join today, Admiral Michael Rogers of the US Cyber Command National Security Agency, Assistant Secretary General of NATO, Ambassador Sorin Dukaru. Vice Admiral Bruce Grooms of the ACT, and numerous academics, industry leaders, and experts in lovely debates. 
ask questions, share your experience. The President of the Republic of Estonia is unfortunately not able to join us today. This, and we wish him a speedy recovery. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce the first speaker for today, Admiral Michael Rogers, Commander of the United States Cyber Command and Director of the National Security Agency to the stage. As you know, the agency protects America's national security information and systems, while the US Cyber Command is tasked with generating cyber defensive and offensive mission force and providing capability to defend critical US infrastructure. So I'm confident the remarks will be both intriguing and enlightening. So Admiral, the floor is yours. 